All right, well, good morning. Welcome to our, oh, don't make me count the days. What's five times two? <laughs> 10 mindful morning practice, our fifth week. We have three more weeks to go. Um, and I'm excited to have you here. Um, so we all know these are interesting times where opinions, ideas, differences are abundant um, and more glaring than ever. And unless we want to alienate others and ourselves from everyone else, I think we're all probably having to learn to find ways to listen better, um, hear other people's opinions without always speaking up. Um, but it's an art that I think we all can continue to learn to practice so that we can keep, keep the people we love in our lives. We can learn more from one another and hopefully just expand it our um, appreciation of differences. So um, as you come see the tear mat, I'd love um, if you would just sit, uh, close your eyes and take some deep breaths in and out and tune in to the sounds of your home. Be quiet for just a moment. What you hear is that morning silence. I love that because of mornings, they're so quiet. Um, and so today's practice will have a couple opportunities to do that. Brendan Bouchard said, listening well is about giving up control. It's releasing your perspective, holding back your impulse to speak or prove yourself. It's living in the moment with the person you are listening to and truly feeling their world. Take a deep breath in and out. Our intention today, I take time to listen to others. I pay attention and I'm curious about what others are saying. I resist the need to fix or change what I am hearing or seeing others do. I treat all people with consideration and respect. So in a seated pose, go ahead and place your hands on your calves and let's begin some spinal flexes. So breathe in, really try if you can to close your eyes during today's practice. Breathe in as we come forward, breathe out as we round our back. Breathe in, breathe out. Not throwing your neck back when we come back. Just keeping your neck, your chin parallel with the floor. Waking up our spines. Five, four, three, two, one, and with a deep breath in, chest open, engage root lock, first, second chakras, and then release. So we're gonna be doing some interesting hand arm patterns. You will have to look at the screen a little bit. So bring your arms in front of you, hands facing one another. And then we are going to cross our right hand over our left hand and bring it back. And then left hand over our right hand, bring it back. Simple movements, closing your eyes, dropping into the quiet. Left and right side are two ears for listening. One more round. Finish with your arms out in front, deep breath in. And then release your arms and roll over your knees so that we are in froggy pose. 
I'm going to take off my jacket now. Just waking up our body. Up on your toes, plie position, pressing firmly into your heels. Lean into your spidey fingers. You can even have a block that you're on. We breathe in as we straighten our legs, not all the way, keep the knees bent. We breathe out when we come down. Don't over crook your neck, just keep your neck gaze looking forward. So we'll begin. Keep it up. Keep it up. Five more. Last one. Finish up with your heels, with your bum down, breath in. And roll all the way up to standing. Swing your arms up over your head, palms together overhead. Lean to the left, let the breath out. Come up to center, breath in. Lean to your right, breath out. Come up to center, breath in. See if with each lean, you can lean a little bit further, wakening up your sides, stretching those intercostal muscles. Come around. Come to center, deep breath in. Listening to the sound around you. You're not already at the front of your mat. Come to the front and fold all the way down. And then with the breath in, rise halfway up. Good long stretch from your tailbone to the crown of your head. Place your hands on your mat. Step back to the plank and lower all the way down for cobra or come chaturanga down. And then up to upward dog. Breath in, breath out, downward facing dog. Raise your left leg to the sky and swing it through and rise up to warrior once. Deep breath in. With your breath out, open to warrior two. With the breath in, come to reverse warrior, stretching that left hand up behind you, gaze up at that hand, keeping the integrity in your front knee. 90 degree angle. And then with your next breath out, come forward to extend side angle. Looking up at your right hand. And then drop your hands to frame your front foot. Step that foot back and lower chaturanga all the way to the ground, up to upward dog or cobra. And then rise up to downward dog. Raise your left foot up to the sky. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Sorry, your right foot, my apologies. Right foot up to the sky. Swing it through between your feet and rise up to warrior one. And then I'm gonna let you guys do that just because I'm gonna switch sides. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then reverse your, so coming to warrior two. And then stretch your right arm back to reverse warrior, gazing up at your hand. You can use your left hand to press into your thigh to create some more leverage. And then with your next breath out, come to extended side angle, gazing up at your left hand. And then Frame your front foot and all walking around my whole mat. Step your right foot back, come down, chaturanga. 
two cobra or upward dog. That's a downward facing dog. We're going to do one more of those flows. Raise your left leg up to the sky. Spin it through in between your hands. Raise up to warrior one. And then open to warrior two. And I'm getting my backside. Extend back to reverse warrior. Look at that left hand. And then bring your left forearm to your thigh and reach into an extended side angle. We're just waking up our bodies right now. Step in and out. Bring your front foot with your fingers, hands, step back, flow through chaturanga to upward facing dog. Or cobra, and then come up to downward facing dog. Hold this for a moment. Deep breath in and out. If you can hear a new sound in your home as the house is waking up, raise your left, right leg, foot up to the sky, stretch, 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 and then swing it through, rise up to warrior one. Hold this for a moment. Power to your thighs, stretch that back arm up and overhead, and then rise all the way up to stand. Actually, straighten that front knee, toe heel your feet together, release your arms, and then we're going to just drop down into some frogs again before we come to the ground. So come on, press your heels into one another, leaning into your fingertips, breath in when our legs straighten, breath out when we come up. We're gonna do 20 of these. Breathing deeply, listening to your voice. Five, four, or wherever you're at, three, two, one. Come down into a squat and then bring your fingers behind you and come back into a seated pose. Just waking ourselves up before we kind of move into some more quiet activities that are going to be simple but challenging. And during it, I'm doing these because they're awesome for your nerves, which sometimes people can get on when we have differences of opinion. They're also really good um, for just that focus and quiet. So we'll bring your hands in the prayer pose up overhead, a little Shiva pose. And we are going to just be slowly. When I watch, I realize how lopsided I am. Um, you're going to be raising your hands up and down. This is my rotator cuff. That's funny. Um, raising them, close your eyes, and you're just going to be raising your arms up and down, up and down. And you're going to have to really drop in to your own personal power and strength. So while you're doing that and just trying to keep yourself going, because we're doing this for a while, just stop and listen to the quiet around you. You can either breathe steadily, just not to the beat of how you're moving, or go ahead and do a breath in when your arms come up, breath out when your arms come down. 30 more seconds to go. Mm 
when we finish, we're going to finish with our arms up overhead for your next instruction. Keep it up. You've got this. Breath in, arms up high, prayer pose. And now we're going to move into dropping our hands behind our back. But this one's pretty challenging, but we just breathe in when our hands come up, we breathe out when they come back. Little tiny movements, simple movements. Got this. You need to think of a mantra, but mom, but mom, but. Thirty more seconds. You're doing amazing. I promise. This is such powerful work. It's dropping us into our ability to just be in the face of difficulty. Two more seconds. You're going to finish with the breath in with your arms overhead again for your next instruction. Five, four, three, two, one. You don't give up. Arms overhead and then bring your arms out in front. That's already going to feel like relief with your palms, everything together. And we're going to come in and out. in the quiet that these more gentle but powerful poses are. Take time to listen to others. I pay attention and I'm curious about what others are saying. I resist the need to change what I am hearing or seeing others do. I treat all people consideration and respect. Beautiful. 15 more seconds like this. And as you guessed it, when I count down, you're going to have your arms come out for your next instruction. Four, three, two, one, arms out, deep breath in. We can go ahead and look at the camera. You're going to place your thumb on top of your pinky nail bed. And you're going to bring your arm to heart center. And this is going to seem crazy, but you are going to spin out your arms as fast as you can. Just a deep, slow, steady breath. You're getting some Kundalini mantra. That is the communication and listening mudra. All about effective communication, which is how we started this week. Using our voices. And today we focus on listening. Keep it up. Faster. You can faster. Just moving your hands quickly. The other fingers are nice and strong. Scouts honor. Spin and spin. 15 more seconds. 
Let me finish with the deep breath in and hold our hands up at the shoulder height. Spin, spin, spin. Five, four, three, two, one. Deep breath in, arms at shoulder height. Close your eyes. Listen to the sounds around you. Release your hands down. Bring your legs out in front of you. Bring your right knee in next to your left thigh. Wrap your left arm around your shin of your right leg and let's do a nice gentle twist. Breathing back behind you. Breathing deeply. Take your breath in, just open up that space around you. Long, slow breath out. And release that pose. Bring your left foot next to your right thigh. Hook your right arm around left knee and twist to the left. Straighten up our spines. There's a time to speak up, and there's a time to listen. Deep breath in. Biggest, biggest breath yet. Open that space and then release your legs. Today, we're going to actually do some Wim Hof breathing, which I imagine some of you have done before. It's a hyperventilation breath, but go as fast or as slow as you want to. And it's funny that I chose to do this for this series today on listening and be more quiet because it's a noisy breath. But then there's a moment when you hold your breath where it is so quiet. And it's in those quiet moments I want you to just drop into that power you have of listening. So Wim Hof, we're gonna just in a seated position, we're gonna do 45 seconds of rapid breath in and out through the mouth. So it's, so it's super big breath into the belly, into the chest. And then instead of a big powerful release, it's just kind of a, like you're just letting the air out. So it's, But you can go more slowly. And then I'm going to cue a final after 45 seconds, deep breath in, big, big, big in, and then a release, not a big foot push out. And we're going to hold our breath for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to cue you to breathe in deeply and hold, engage root lock, hold your breath for 15 seconds, and then release. We'll see how many rounds we can get in. Super, it's going to wake you up, but I love the silence in that moment when we get to be absolutely quiet for those 30 seconds. So um, take a deep breath in and out on your own. And let's begin. Deep breath in. Deep breath into your belly, up to your chest, and then just relax the breath out, not a forceful breath out. In five seconds, we're gonna take a deep breath in and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, deep breath in, suck in, suck in, and then release all your breath. And just go into silence for 30 seconds. I'll cue you when we're coming out. Thank 
five seconds. We're going to take a deep breath in and hold for 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Deepest inhale, engage your root block. Power, bringing that energy up, 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 up your spine and release. Do another round together, but breathe just naturally, fully right now. Deep breath in, long, steady breath out. Awakening brain stem, brain energy. I want you to really savor that silence on this next round. We're going to begin that powerful breath in and relaxed breath out. It's about 30 breaths that we take. In five, four, three, two, one, begin. In and out through the mouth, from the belly, all the way up into the chest, powerfully bringing it in, and then relaxing to exhale. About 10 more breaths. Four, three, two, Deep breath in, deep breath in, and then relax that breath out. Hold your breath, 30 seconds. Relax your forehead, relax your chest, relax your knees, your body. Everything should be relaxed in this full. You can extend these up to two minutes of breath holds. We're gonna get rid of this deep 30 seconds. Silence. In five seconds, deep breath in to hold for 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Deep, deep breath in, hold for 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Close your eyes, relax, feel the energy, the quiet that breath work brings. I take time to listen to others. I pay attention and I'm curious about what others are saying. I resist the need to fix or change what I am hearing or seeing others do. I treat all people with consideration and respect. And I'm just going to read again Brandon Bouchard's quote. Listening well is about giving up control. It is releasing your perspective, holding back your impulse to speak or prove yourself. It's living in the moment with the person you are listening to and truly feeling their world. And that is so much in this practice, like just taking that moment of the breath and the quiet to feel that in yourself as well. I love the experience of the breath hold to a point. <laughs> All right, so your mindfulness activity um, over our time in between now and Tuesday. So in your conversations over the weekend, if you're feeling a burning desire to speak, and this is challenging for me, if you're feeling that burning desire to speak up, to share your idea or opinion, I challenge you just to be quiet instead. To um, challenge your need to be heard and instead listen, breathe deeply, maybe ask an additional question of the person. Tell me a little more about that. I need to understand that a little more. I want to know where you're coming from. 
ask yourself inside, what can I learn from this person? See if anything shifts for you in your urge to speak up. See if you learn anything new about a topic or the person you are speaking to. Thank you so much. Week five, mindful mornings. Done. Bring your hands to heart center. Rub your palms briskly together. And then bring them prayer pose at your chest, pressing your thumbs and your sternum, pressing into your palms. You create some tension there. Elbows splayed out. We close with a long sot and a short nom. Deep breath in. So. Satnam, namaste. I'm so happy you're here together with me, my friends. Namaste. Have a great day.